Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're going to talk about the Los Angeles Chargers versus Oakland Raiders Week 6 matchup based on analytics. Uh, each week, I collect all of the current 2017 NFL team data in order to analyze and project potential NFL performance. And since it's a weekly collection, there will always be some fluidity with it. However, there will always be little nuggets of truth that become bigger nuggets of truth as the season continues. So stick around as I analyze each week's matchups based on analytics. And if you're new to the channel, all terms and definitions will be in the description. So starting with this one particular game of the Chargers versus the Raiders, uh, to start it out, when you look at the NFL stat basic comparison data, which essentially looks at how the offense is doing, how the defense is doing compared to the rest of the NFL in terms of various different data points, and of course how the special teams is performing in terms of various data points and the overall data favors the Oakland Raiders. Um, it's important to point out though that a lot of this data has Derek Carr involved. Derek Carr of course I don't believe is going to be starting in this game. I think it's still going to be EJ Manuel. I, I could be wrong but uh, but again most of the data that f most of the good any type of good that this data shows is because of something that isn't here anymore uh, in terms of Derek Carr. Uh, so that's all you really need to know. All you really need to know, uh, need to know from that kind of perspective. But let's get into some of the reasons why the Raiders are favored. So um, one of the reasons why the Raiders are favored in this particular game uh, is because when you look at the turnover ratio, more so in favor of the Raiders. The Raiders have a pretty above average turnover ratio percentage compared to the Chargers which uh, ultimately gives them advantages. You know, when you're not turning the football over as much as your opponent, uh, you're, you're basically able to have a lot more success. You know, and a big driver of the Raiders' success over the last couple seasons has been their ability to not turn the football over, uh, you know, because of Derek Carr and because of a lot of different other sort of factors. So that's definitely in their favor. Uh, what's not in the Raiders' favor is the sack percentage. The Raiders have a below average sack percentage this year, a 33.86 out of 100 compared to the Chargers that have a 96.85 out of 100 in terms of preventing sacks. Uh, so that is definitely an area of concern for the Raiders, and that's just kind of gone downhill as the season has gone on, uh, which is very surprising for a offense that uh, was one of the better preventers of sacks. Uh, I think a lot of that had to do with uh, Derek Carr, but even with Derek Carr in there, the sacks, the pressure and sacks have just kind of exponentially increased this year. Uh, and then, of course, you look at offensive score percentage. This is the one area where the Raiders have advantages uh, in terms of the Chargers is that their score percentage is just higher than the Chargers, you know, 70.55 uh, in turn in, instead of 45.83 for the Chargers. So the Raiders just seem to get it done uh, when it comes to uh, their, uh, you know, score percentage. Uh, then, of course, when you look at uh, defense, uh, both these defenses are not that great when it comes to preventing scores. But the Chargers are a little bit better. But both these defenses are bad uh, when it comes to preventing scores. Turnovers, neither one of these teams actually does that well in terms of creating turnovers on defense, uh, which is another big issue. But again, I mean, the reason why these teams are struggling so much is because of these facts. Like defensively, they're just not really doing it. Uh, but sack percentage is actually pretty high with the Chargers and actually kind of low for the Raiders. The Raiders are about average when it comes to sack percentage, you know, the ability to create sacks. Uh, so that's, uh, you know, the only, but the Chargers are better. So in many ways, I would say that the Chargers just have a better overall defense, you know, uh, in terms of the ability to create sacks. They're both, they're both kind of bad. I mean, they both allow points and they both don't really get a lot of turnovers, but one team is sacking the quarterback at a 98.74 out of a hundred rate. And the other team is sacking the quarterback at a 48.50 rate. So who are you going to go with? You're going to go with the Chargers defense. So from that kind of perspective, the Chargers definitely have the defensive side of the ball intact when it comes to that. Then, of course, you look at the special teams. So this is the special teams data. Uh, most of the special teams favors the Raiders, uh, especially when it comes to kick return yardage. The Raiders are above average in the NFL when it comes to uh, uh, kick return yardage. <clears throat> when it comes to preventing punt return yardage and preventing kick return yardage, the Raiders also are favored over the Chargers in that respect. And field goal percentage, big, 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 big thing. Field goal percentage, extra point percentage, these are things that are just in the Raiders' favor. Uh, the Chargers have a 2.05 out of 100 field goal percentage, which is pretty much as bad as the Bucks. 
which speaks to a lot of their issues in terms of offensive score percentage. You know, like this is really underrated, guys. When you have bad field goal percentage, when you have a bad kicker who can't consistently, you know, put up a very high field goal percentage, you're, you're leaving points off the board. I mean, there's no ways around it. And um, that's the one advantage that the Raiders also have in this game is that they just kill it when it comes to special teams. Field goal percentage, extra point percentage, and even punting average is all with the Raiders. Uh, so from that kind of perspective, the Raiders win special teams. Uh, the Raiders <clears throat> win offense of scoring, you know, offense of scoring especially. But the Chargers defense is better, especially when it comes to sacks. Uh, but overall, the, the, the data does favor the Raiders in this particular game in terms of overall data. But now let's get into to some other sort of data points. So uh, looking at completion percentage, I'm not going to get too much into this. Uh, but this is the Los Angeles Chargers uh, completion percentage in terms of their offense versus the Raiders defense when it comes to preventing completion percentage. <clears throat> and then this is the Raiders offense versus the Chargers defense when it comes to completion percentage. Again, I'm not going to get too much in this. This is just, you know, for your own sort of reference and stuff like that. And now when we get to some of the more juicier things, uh, we look at uh, first down conversion rate in terms of rushing the football uh, of the Chargers offense versus the Raiders defense. And honestly, the Raiders are going to have advantages. They're going to have advantages on uh, first down and third down, respectively. But second down, I think, is a big area where the Chargers might have some success. <clears throat> second down is the only area uh, where the Chargers, uh, where the Raiders' defense is not performing well. So I think from that kind of perspective, I think the Chargers will have success on second down because of that issue. Uh, and then, of course, you look at the Raiders' offense versus the Chargers' defense when it comes to rushing the football. And the Raiders will actually have some advantages on second down and third down. Um, for all of the positive things, there's not a lot of positive things for the Chargers, but uh, like all the issues the Raiders have had in terms of running the football, I think some of that will be relieved a bit in this game, uh, only because of how, how poorly the Chargers are playing. So I think this might actually be a game where the Raiders can run the football a little bit better. So from that kind of perspective, I think that's kind of what gives the Raiders some advantages, is that the Chargers' defense, when it comes to preventing uh, first downs with the run is just below average. So I think there'll be some success for the Raiders because of that. And then, of course, you look at passing down. So this is the Chargers offense versus the Raiders defense when it comes to uh, uh, first down conversion rate. And for the most part, the Raiders do have advantages, but not when it comes to third down. The Raiders are by far the worst defense in the NFL when it comes to first down conversion rate against the pass. Uh, so the Chargers, I think, will have success with the pass. Regardless of how well the Char the Raiders have been playing in terms of first down and second down, I still think that the Chargers, in terms of third down, I think they will find a way to really perform well against this Raiders defense uh, when it comes to passing downs. Uh, then, of course, you look at the Raiders offense versus the Chargers defense when it comes to passing downs. And overall, it favors the Raiders. Uh, the Chargers have been doing really well in terms of second down. Uh, preventing a uh, second down conversion rate, but not so when it comes to first down and not so when it comes to third down either. So I think whoever the Raiders signal caller is, again, I, I'm pretty sure it's E.J. Manuel this week again. I think that they will have some success against this Chargers passing defense because of that. Now we get into sack rate. So this is the Chargers uh, sack rate versus the Raiders' ability to create sacks. And overall, it favors the Chargers. Um, there will, I mean, the Raiders will have some, Khalil Mack will have some success, I think, against the Chargers, but I don't think it'll, you know, again, when it comes to team sacks, I don't think it'll be a big advantage uh, for them from that kind of respect. And then, of course, uh, when you look at the sack rate of the uh, Oakland Raiders offense versus the Chargers defense, for the most part, you know, the, the Raiders will have some success in second down, but uh, third down is just where it's at, man. Like, the Chargers have been one of the best. Uh, actually, they've been the best defense when it comes to creating sacks on third down uh, whereas the Raiders have been one of the worst teams in terms of preventing sacks on third down so the Chargers will have success with sacks and I think those sacks hopefully are not the turnover kind because that that definitely could give them a boost if that's actually the case uh, then of course you look at interception ratio the Chargers offense versus the Raiders defense the one thing I need to tell you is that the Raiders have no interceptions this year so far on defense we're going into week six and through five weeks the Raiders have not created a turnover so far in terms of interceptions um, luckily though uh, the Chargers in terms of third down are the worst team in terms of giving up interceptions in the NFL so again we have one defense that's the worst in the NFL when it comes to creating interceptions on third down 
versus another team in the Chargers that are the worst in terms of giving up turnovers on third down. Let's see what happens. Do the Raiders get lucky this week? We'll see. Uh, then, of course, you look at the Raiders offense versus the Chargers defense when it comes to interceptions. And uh, for the most part, it's pretty evenly matched, but I would give this to the Raiders uh, in terms of first down advantages and then uh, kind of second down, kind of even sort of advantage overall. Um, but, uh, but overall, I mean, the Chargers are a little bit better in terms of creating turnovers than the Raiders, but not by that much, uh, slightly. So I think there might be some turnovers, but the big thing is how the Raiders perform. So overall, how do I feel about this matchup? I, I'm a little uneven about this. I do see the, the scenario of the Raiders actually having a pretty decent day running the football against the Chargers because of how soft the Rundy is. I also see some of the nightmare scenarios where they try to pass the football a lot and they just get a lot of sacks as a result. So on top of a Raiders defense, it's very poor when it comes to passing downs, which could make Phillip Rivers look like a rejuvenated you know, guy. Like Phillip Rivers might look amazing in this game because he's playing the Raiders. And he usually does play well against the Raiders uh, defense, usually. So from that kind of perspective, I'm kind of terrified. I mean, if I'm an Oakland Raider fan, I'm kind of terrified of this game because of all the injuries. I do think there's some positives here. As I told you before, field goal percentage, like the things that matter on special teams, like putting up points on special teams is really, really big. And I think that people underrate that. So I'm still leaning towards the Raiders. I, I do I do kind of agree with the data. I don't think it's going to be a easy game to watch. I don't think it's going to be uh, – like I think it is anyone's game. There is a blueprint to how to beat – uh, the, there is a blueprint for the Chargers to beat the Raiders. I mean, it is definitely there. Uh, but uh, at the same time, I do think that the Raiders, even without Carr, have some stuff to find a way to win this game because of how... I mean, because again, these are both two teams that are not performing well um, in terms of various different aspects of, uh, of, of football. So from that kind of perspective, there is a chance for both of these teams to come out with a W, but I just feel like the Raiders, because of that field goal percentage, because of the, some of those other sort of factors, I think that those will kind of push the Raiders over the top, and ultimately I just got to go Raiders here. Uh, so of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. Uh, you can find my other work at giraffecobern.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Geometrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Share this video as well with anybody that you know, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.